the victims in this case um, were family members, uh, two of whom newly married and were just leaving their uh, wedding reception, traveling uh, from the west part of the island to the east part of the island where they were staying. They were traveling in a low-speed vehicle, uh, sometimes commonly referred to as a golf cart. And uh, the defendant was traveling also eastbound on Ashley Avenue in a 2023 Toyota Camry. Um, the crash down the recorder shows that at one point in time, shortly, very shortly before the collision, the defendant was driving over 65 miles an hour. I've got something else you need to know tonight. Take a look. That is Jamie Kamarowski at her bond hearing trying to get released. She's been accused of driving drunk, driving three, almost three times the speed limit, three times the, the drinking limit in her blood, and struck and killed a woman. I want you to take a look at a picture we have of her on her wedding day right and we didn't randomly pick a wedding photo because it was on the night of her wedding shortly after the reception that she was in a golf cart and she was struck and killed today her dad her mom her sister spoke at the bond hearing i would give anything to hug my daughter again anything anything They're gonna. They said they bond. They can probably afford it. And they're gonna get to hug her and hold her daughter. I spoke at the first bond hearing 12 hours after the defendant killed my sister. And it's just as hard to stand here today, only three months later. And I'm going to stand here and talk also about my sister's nieces, my daughters. And the defendant is a danger to the community, to society, because that could have been my daughter. And now they don't get their Auntie Sammy. And I have to explain to them every day when the sirens go off. And I think about that time running down the street. Screaming my sister's name. I'm Sam's mom. <laughs> There's no Sam longer than anybody in this courtroom. And yes, the defendant has made a conscious decision to get into her vehicle after drinking all day and take away my daughter. So I do believe she's a danger to the community because I wouldn't want anybody else to go through this. It's torn apart our family. Other families, it's like, you you didn't, I'm sorry, she didn't just kill my daughter. She killed all of us. I just want to give you all the picture of 428 at 10 o'clock when we got, were notified of the accident and get out of the car, like Mandy said, running down the streets, nothing but sirens. And, and we were told that everybody got taken to the hospital. And then we go over there and stand there for three or four hours till almost three in the morning. And then my husband calls and said, Sam's still here. She's still on the street because she got killed. If you haven't experienced that moment, I wish you found nobody, but all I can say is one person is responsible for tearing on life support. She was denied bond. She'll stay behind bars. Incredibly heartbreaking for that family. The night of her wedding. We'll be back. <laughs>